God took. I'm going to give you the year in a minute. From the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, when I was his minister in Boston, as I was just made his minister in New York, September 26, 1965 before many of you were born. And in these notes, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad lays out the destruction. And then he told us, don't teach it. <laughs> because if you teach it, the enemy will kill you outright. But it's time now. And I really don't care what the enemy wants to do to me. So I'm going to tell it all today. And if you can take it, these are notes that are 30 years old. 65, 96, 31 years from the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I want you to hear me. He said, America is a preserved area. No foreign nation will destroy America lest they get the credit. God will do it himself. He said America is number one on God's list to be destroyed. He talked about the four beasts, America, England, Germany, Italy. These are four white nations that have acted with great wickedness against the darker people of the world. Bear with me. He says, the more you fight against Elijah, the more Allah makes perfect the work of Elijah. And that's the same with me. The more they fight me, the more God makes perfect his work through me. He said, we will make the truth so plain that a fool will find it hard to error. You're not able to make the truth other than simple because a simple, educated man will be speaking. Elijah Muhammad was a simple man, and he made the truth simple. I have a little bit more education, but I'm still a simple, plain teacher. He said, my will and his will are alike. And I believe that that goes right to me. And he said he wants every no good disbeliever off the face of the earth. He said, after this, America will never rise to be an independent nation again. She won't have the power that she had last year, meaning every year from then, her power would be diminished. And if you watch America, there was a time when she would fight you herself. When she jumped into Vietnam and they beat her up, from that day, whenever a fight comes, she tries to gather a lot of people, except she's fighting Panama or Grenada or some little small place. He said, America is gone. Her money is gone. There's no more silver. No more gold. After a while, she may ask 
ask for copper. The money is worthless. Right now, the money has no value. This used to be a silver certificate that used to say, pay the bearer on demand one dollar in silver. You can't get silver for it anymore. You can't get gold for it. It is the wealth of the country that's holding up the dollar. He said, soon you'll see money piled and burning in the streets. There will be another medium of exchange not coming from this country. He said, I warn you because I love you. Now listen to these words. She will fight and continue to fight. He mentioned Vietnam and other areas of Asia. But the last fight will be in East Germany and there she will be destroyed. Now, I want you to stop with me a minute. I want to talk about East Germany. Y'all all right? Yes. You think East Germany and West Germany have united. They broke the wall down. But they're not united. East Germany has been 40 years under the communists and West Germany has been 40 years under American and Western democracy. And these are apples and oranges and it's very difficult to produce the integration. And if you look at America, your president, Lincoln, I mean, uh, <laughs> Lincoln, your president Clinton, went all out for Perez in Israel. But the people in Israel rejected Perez and voted for Netanyahu. Netanyahu comes in, listen, and he says, quote, there will never be a divided Jerusalem. Jerusalem will forever be the capital of Israel. Arafat says, we want a Palestinian state with East Jerusalem as the capital. Arafat and Netanyahu says, never. Netanyahu says, no more trading land for peace. So the words of Farrakhan now come back. Israel has not had any peace in 40 years. And she will never have any peace. Now, Jerusalem again will soon be surrounded by armies. And what does the scripture say? When Jerusalem is surrounded with armies, know that the end has come. It says, he says, if you look at Germany and you look at Russia, next Sunday there will be an election in Russia. America has sent billions of dollars over to Russia to make sure that Boris Yeltsin wins the election. He may win, he may not win, but the communists are rising again and they are sick of this western style democracy and capitalism and the hard liners that are rising want the return of the Soviet Union meanwhile you see a breakup of the so-called Soviet Union and all of these tribes if you want to call them that the Croats, the Serbs, the Chechnyans, the Georgians, they're all at odds with each other. And this conflagration is soon going to spread into Europe. Now, many of you that were in the armed forces in Europe when the 
that broke this, this, the power of the Soviet Union that called many of you out of Europe back to America, you that were in the army, and you don't have any job, but soon they're going to ask you to go back to Europe. I wouldn't do it if I were you. Oh, I want you to hear me now. You can do what you want to do. But if I were you, I'd get out of the army. You didn't hear me. Because I know you think that's your only employment. I said if I were you, I'd get out of that thing. Because what the enemy intends to do is use your bodies to keep him propped up. And you will be killed this time. You're not going to make it. They got something planned for her. 